Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. This was posted by user argues with quotes. What is the most hilariously inaccurate fact someone has told you? A woman at a party I was attending over a decade ago insisted that the largest member of the rodent family is the polar bear. I looked at her in absolute disbelief and replied that they weren't rodents, they were fucking bears. She had a PhD too, SMH. I was talking to a guy at the bar and he was telling me how soap is unnecessary for washing your hands. All you need is a combination of hot water and cold water. Not warm, but use both cold and hot. I did not shake his hands. This is quite scientifically sound. When you alternate between the temperatures rapidly, the dad micro begins shouting about the thermostat and he's not made of petri dishes, you know. And all the young bacteria roll their eyes so hard they die. Like Galileo discovered it or something. You can get black lung disease from overcooking the marshmallows for s'mores. My roommate tried to convince me that there are chimpanzee people in the jungle because isolated tribes are getting it on with the monkeys. I tried to explain how species reproduce and quickly realised he thinks you can bang a horse and get a centaur. My ex was telling me how if a male lion has a broken leg and he fathers cubs, they will all have a broken leg when they're born. Also, I had a co-worker who claimed there was a human-sized jackrabbit near the bus stop she used to take the bus to work, and that she saw it all the time. Hmm. An ex-boyfriend once insisted that women can hold in their periods like we can hold our urine. He did not believe me, a woman, when I told him that was absolutely not the case. What? The shape of the banana and the way it fits your hand so well are proof that God exists. He stopped using that argument when one of our co-workers pointed out that dicks fit in hands pretty well too. When you go to Liverpool and start singing a Beatles song, everyone will join in like it's some Disney movie. The guy was dead serious. I was told random strangers would offer me drugs my whole life. My cousin's wife told me that blue-eyed babies can't wear Pampers diapers because they're all allergic. She isn't very smart in general and she was basing it off of her experience with her only child. She also told me you can't drink too much water when you're pregnant because you'll have too much amniotic fluid which could hurt the baby. Number one. Neighbour told me he attended an international medical conference for work and he learned that women are catching diabetes in their feet because of the sandals they wear in the summer. Number two. Little sister's friend said that a contestant on a singing show like X Factor came second after the finale because the contestant who won stole his phone and turned it off so he wouldn't get his votes when people texted in. Band name KISS is an acronym for Knights in Satan's Service. ACDC, Anti-Christian Devil Children. Slayer, Satan Laughs as You Eternally Rot. All told to us without irony by a Sunday school teacher circa 1987. My ex argued that fossils weren't actually old and those creatures never existed. They were just stuck there to confuse us. This is a story that is too long to type in full, but I once got into a disagreement with some random dude at an A&W because he thought that one quarter was more than one third. His reasoning that since quarter, his reasoning was that since a quarter has a four and a third has a three, and four is one unit higher than three, then a quarter is more than a third. The worst part was that in order to prove him wrong, I asked the cashier girl which weighed more. She didn't know. Then I asked the next person in line. That idiot said a quarter. Do you have any idea how infuriating it is to have a complete idiot think that he's smarter than you because everyone in the room is just as dumb as he is? Smoking weed strengthens your lungs. No. No, it does not. Catholic school teacher, nun, explains that raped women can't get pregnant because God wouldn't let that happen. Therefore, if they did get pregnant, it must have been consensual. That you can live off drinking seawater because Gatorade has sodium in it. I was telling this dude about a guy who was stranded out at sea for a while and survived by drinking rainwater and shark blood or some shit. The dude was like, why didn't he drink the seawater? Gatorade has sodium in it and it's fine. It's a myth that you can't drink seawater, probably so they can keep charging people for drinking water. That masturbating will give you hairy palms. I had a teacher in high school tell us this and the number of guys and girls who checked their hands immediately was hilarious. I had to really slam on the brain filter to keep from doing it myself, but you better believe I examined my hands thoroughly in the bathroom after class. No boss explained to me one day that hearing men sing causes women's brains to release some kind of sex hormone that makes us crazy. 
That is why girls and women screamed and fainted over the Beatles back in the day, and why we all get hysterical at concerts. He said it in this really condescending tone too, like he was dropping some deep knowledge on me that I probably wouldn't understand. And that's how he explained most things anyway. I fucking hated that idiot. My mum told me Michael Jackson died from eating too many potato chips in an attempt to get me to stop snacking. My dad told me that tongue piercings cause heart failure really commonly. My mum told me that writing on your hand was the same as ingesting poison. That mind over matter was real, meaning that you could lift objects with your mind. It was a great conversation. Her, you can do all kinds of stuff with your mind. Like what? Lift things, bend spoons, etc. Okay, cool. Can you bend something for me? Well, no, my mind isn't that good. Then why should I listen to you? My dad believes nano silver cures everything and truly believes in his nano silver throat spray. He says kings and emperors in the past drank for silver cups and that's how they had long healthy lives. Uh, no they didn't. They had mostly short, often disease riddled lives. A woman I worked with a long time ago told me that her proof of Christianity being the correct religion is that it was the first one. Physicists couldn't explain how bees can fly. This was only four to five years ago. We were both fully functioning voting adults. He honestly believed that scientists were just stumped on bees. If you put a band-aid over an ant while it's crawling on you, it'll get absorbed into your skin fuse with your DNA and other ants will leave you alone there on forth because they'll think you're one of them. Before lemons are ripe, when they're still green, they're limes. When you grow up you can be anything you want to be. Still waiting to rule everything the light touches from Pride Rock, mom. This girl in my science class seriously tried to argue to our class that meteors were spaceships that turtles came to earth on. She was completely serious. I have a crazy aunt who thinks the world is getting heavier because people keep building buildings on it. You get sick if you go outside in winter with hair still wet from the shower. But Courtney Cox was fat as a teenager and also friends with Jennifer Aniston at the same time because the home videos from friends was real footage of their high school days. But eating apple seeds mean an apple tree will start growing in your stomach. It won't get huge but will still kill you. I'll leave that one as a kid and loads of kids I knew who'd been told that also. Yeah, my nan told me that, but she used to also flush her meals on wheels down the toilet for some bizarre reason. They swore up and down that thunder came from the clouds bumping into each other. Nothing I said could change their minds. Someone had told me my story was cool, and they called me bro. That you can't keep your neighbour's children in your basement. I proved them wrong. If you tell me the truth, I will not be angry. It's a trap! Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow!